Hello. In this session, I'm going to demonstrate the power, flexibility, and ease of use of NetSuite dashboards. NetSuite is a role-based application. So for this demo, I'll be focusing on the role of senior executive within the fictional company of Gill Incorporated. NetSuite dashboards possess three major characteristics. They're user-defined. Number two, they supply on-demand real-time information. And lastly, they are drilled on capable. Let's review some of the information on this example executive dashboard. Starting from the top left, we have a reminders portlet. I consider this to be my to-do list and ensures that no important tasks fall through the cracks. For example, maybe purchase orders to approve or calls that I need to complete. Next, we have report snapshots. NetSuite provides over 200 standard reports and all of them can be viewed on a dashboard in a report snapshot view, as we see here with the sales by customer summary report snapshot. These can be configured easily to change the format, change the time frame, maybe from this year to this month. And I could even easily change the report that's being viewed in the snapshot altogether. So if I want to change it from sales by customer summary to something, maybe items by sales, simply change the report, save that, and now I've got a items by sales, sales by item summary snapshot instead. Scrolling down a little bit, NetSuite also provides the ability to view important information in the form of a trend graph. These trend graphs can also be configured as the other portlets were as well. Moving over to the, to the right side, a shortcut portlet can be leveraged to easily get to areas of the application I frequently visit as well as to access outside websites, like maybe the Wall Street Journal in this example. And if I want to keep abreast of all the latest financial news, I can select an RSS feed to give me that information. Now, focusing on the primary section, the middle section of the dashboard, we have the concept of key performance indicators. These provide a real-time view of the overall health of the business, and we'll cover this in a little more detail shortly. While scrolling down, we see an example of a KPI scorecard. These allow me to analyze many metrics at one time using the same comparative periods and even alert me when, with a color coding when values fall outside of acceptable boundaries, as we see here. And managing the portlet is very simple as well. If I want to move a portlet around, I simply click on it and drag it. If I want to add a new portlet, I can easily personalize the dashboard maybe add a new calendar. If I want to remove something, I simply go and click and remove it. Dashboards can also have many different portlets of information. So as I scroll down, I can see that there's a virtually unlimited number of portlets that I can put on the dashboard to give me the information that I want in real time. In addition to being user-defined, NetSuite dashboards serve up on-demand, on real-time analytics. This gives me the ability to make key decisions with the most up-to-date information, as opposed to from reports that can be days or even weeks old. The KPI portlet is a great way to manage my business by exception and in real time. Rather than wading through spreadsheets and reports, I can select the metrics I want to focus on and view the values using time period comparisons of my choice, as we see. I also visually, at a glance, uh, can see results of the current period and whether they're better or worse than the comparison period. And each metric can also be viewed in its own trend graph very easily. So if I want to see a trend, quick trend of sales, simply click a button. KPIs can span all aspects of the business, from sales activities like maybe my, my sales pipeline to back office information, sales, cost of goods sold and payables, to customer service related metrics, maybe open cases that I want to view. Additional KPIs can be added to the portlet very easily as well. I want to add a new KPI. Let's go ahead and set up my portlet. Choose to add a new KPI. And select one of the 70 plus potential indicators that are available out of the box. In this case, I want to pick 
new leads. Once I've added it to the dashboard, I can go ahead and change the, the time frame, the range, and select this fiscal quarter. And compare that to last fiscal quarter to date. And then once I have that set up, I can then go ahead and move that portlet to position of my choice. Save. And now I've got an updated KPI portlet to include my new leads. All right, we've been looking at summary level metrics in the dashboard. But if I want to get to the details behind a value, I simply drill into it. For example, drill into my sales for this month. This gets me to a standard report, now filtered by this month for sales. Then I could choose any one of my customer values, in this case, East Coast Mountain Sports, and drill into the details of that customer, see a list of invoices, and then drill into even further down to the transaction level, in this case, right down to an invoice. So it's very powerful to be able to make key business decisions from the dashboard, but then easily click down and see the details that make up that summary, summary, those summary values. We've also been focusing so far on the main dashboard, the home dashboard, we call it. But if we look up at the, the header of the dashboard, all of these tab headers can be their own dashboard. For example, if I want to look at a financial dashboard only, I can build out those metrics on my financial tab and now get a view of financial related information only. So to recap the benefits of NetSuite dashboards, they're user defined and can be managed in a very intuitive manner. They serve up data in real time and they provide each user with the ability to drill down from high level dashboard metrics to key transactional information. This concludes the overview of NetSuite dashboards.